Saturday. My hair was still slick from the rain. Another successful day in the office. Clockwork. These murder cases have been seeming too simple, too easy. But maybe I should have bit my tongue, as I could have never imagined the hardest nut to crack would have been in my own home. The scene of the crime, my pink frosted cookie, I was saving it. The evidence open to see no remorse. I got on it right away. Suspect one, Henry. A sly cat. He's got a record that has been clean since December, so he says. Suspect two, Luke. An angel. Wouldn't hurt a fly or touch your leftovers. But even Lucifer fell from heaven. Suspect three, Bob. If I'd take a gamble, it'd be him. But even a veteran slob wouldn't leave his mess out like this. It wasn't adding up. Something was wrong. In this job, you'll have an itch when you're close to the truth. And I wasn't itchy. I needed the answer to come to me, to stroll right in, to look me in the... Face like an angel. An aura that could steal a room. She walked up to me. Hi, I said. Hello, she replied. Cold night? For some. So cool. What are you doing here on a night like this? Taking a stroll, catching a breath, seeing some faces. You're looking for someone? Time had felt so still just then, I had nearly forgotten. I had a high profile case on my hands. Yes, it's testing me. My limits, my patience. Are you a good detective? A great one. She smirked. Then you'd be mad if I... She reached for the cookie. The evidence. In any other instance, I would have reached out, stopped it from happening. I was frozen. She bit into it. A compromised cookie. This case may never be solved now. But somehow, I felt at ease. Elegantly, she brushed her lips and turned her back. An itch. I felt a twinge in my mind. Looking back at the scene, I found what I could only guess to be. Her bite. A perfect match. It was her all along. I could have ran, chased her down. But in this world, you've got to take it as it is. Like they say, sometimes that's just 